What we're looking at today is a 112 gig PAM4 DDQ SMT connector. So this is very much kind of the next evolution within the marketplace as we look to go to greater and greater speeds, an evolution from 56 gig PAM4 to 112 gig PAM4. We've got an Infi 112 chip running over to our 112 SMT connector through approximately a two meter DAC cable, completely passive cable, back into another 112 DDQ SMT connector returning to the chip. Currently, we're showing a bit error rate around the order of 10 to the minus six, perfect conditions right before we implement back. So the reason why this is important to the marketplace is because we are constantly trying to service the insatiable data need within the marketplace. People want more and more data and they want it more and more quickly. So in order to do that, we have a couple of options. We can essentially increase the amount of hardware we have, or we can make more efficient use of the space and the resources that we have. Evolving from a 56 gig PAM4 to a 112 gig PAM4 is part of that natural evolution of trying to make more efficient use of our resources and make more efficient use of what we have to deliver that greater speed, that greater capacity of the marketplace. So when it comes to target customers and target applications, specifically companies that are looking at top of rack switches, routers, even servers can make use of this technology. The most important thing about this demonstration today is the ability to continue to support the double density QSFP form factor that the industry is utilizing and relying upon today. Considering that it is double density QSFP, we have reverse compatibility with all of the existing infrastructure that is deployed. So a 112 gigabit PAM4 DDQ SMT connector is able to accept your existing DDQ infrastructure. Now, if that infrastructure is rated at 56 gig PAM4, this DDQ 112 will support it, not at 112, but essentially the infrastructure is there, it's ready, it's not a rip and replace. You're able to continue to utilize the double density QSFP form factor and its infrastructure as you move forward.